These are like some lab experiments we've been running in our secret foundry. This is not a product. This not is a product. It's a secret foundry laboratory thing. Excellent. Um, so we what we're that. looking at is we've been looking at the um, um, effect of um, cameras which have a rolling shutter. don't know what the good word for it would be. Um, rolling shutter effect based on the CMOS chip in the camera. The way that it scans Yeah, the being image. scanning. So what we're saying is that um, as the data is scanned on the chip, scanned from top to bottom, or presumably sometimes from bottom to top if they pull, put them in the other way around, um, there's a time lag between what the one edge of the image and the other. And um, depending on the speed that the read happens, the lag is more or less noticeable. And... Um, uh, for our experiments, we've been using a, a cheap consumer-level um, uh, HD camera, which has a fairly serious lag, and the lag on it is about one field. Okay. So it's about as long as it can get. And so, that's the skew we're seeing there. So that's the skew we're seeing here. So this is a... Um, this is a pretty extreme. This is just panning back and forth kind yeah, of wildly. So this, this is panning back and forth across um, these windows. And as we pan back and forwards, we can see that the windows slowly wave like trees in the wind. And um, that's the kind of shear we're looking at. And this Oops. is important for, uh, well, not only visually if it's disturbing, but also for tracking solves. That's right. So that's the, our, our interest on it is mostly from the, the tracking point of view. Um, because if the images that are coming in aren't square, then it obviously affects our ability to track stuff correctly. Right. And in the longer term, also affects our ability to actually produce um, genuinely dense 3D data from shots. So you're working on technology to remove the rolling <laughs> shutter artifact and straighten the windows back out, and also in a good enough fashion that you can track the shot. Yeah. So here we are flipping now between our before and after. So if we go to the more extreme points on the track, um, that's our before and that's our after. So we're squaring up the windows. So if I run that through, you can see that we've removed this the waving, gel, tree, waving tree effect. Right. Um, the good thing about the window, though, is it actually allowed us to calibrate how long the lag is. So that was a, there's, ah. a, there's a benefit to the windows. Um, so if we look at that, we can then look at a more normal looking shot rather than a fast whip like that. And we've been playing with this one. And so what we have here is just a handheld walk around this um, Wendy house. And um, what we're interested in here is that the, the effect is there, but it's, a, it's kind of a lot less noticeable. So um, obviously, as well as shearing, the CMOS effect uh, uh, makes some things, um, when you have vertical moves, things stretch and shrink. Which would and be so really got, bad for tracking. Yeah. So you've got stretching, shrinking, you've got shearing, and it's all happening in different parts of the image at the same time. Right. But the interesting thing about this is that it's exactly the same camera setup, but it's it's there, but it's not terribly disturbing. Right. And so let me show that. And then but if we you were tracking something to that, suddenly yes, you have this that, shape in the that, middle. That would be an issue. Um, so the correction looks like this. For us, the correcting for this is then an important part of a, a larger picture for us, which is getting all of this tracking stuff right. So the, the, the shear and the compression you get from the CMOS scanning is for us in the same bucket as dealing with lens distortion correctly. So whatever screws up your transition from the real world to your idealized pinhole camera model of the world is something you need to deal with. And for us, this is just another one of those. Cool. Um, so this is part of the, uh, this is in the labs right now. This is in the labs. And you're looking for customers to tell you what, yeah. what should you do with this? Yes, so it's, it's likely, for example, that it'll end up being silently included as part of our camera solve which is useful. But um, what we're interested in knowing is if there are other people, for example, people who think there's a, a visual requirement for doing this correction, and how bad is it anyway, and which cameras do they find that have the longest lag on them? Is it a problem that's going to go away in two years as the read-reset cycle gets faster and faster until it's basically global anyway? Right. So um, it's, um, it's something we need to do, and we want to show it to people, but we can't yet predict where they'll see it. So right. the more... The more um, the more um, calls and emails I get about it telling me where we should go with it, it would be fun for us. Perfect. Well, thanks for showing it to us, and we'll You're get the word welcome. out. You're very welcome. Thank you.